Good morning, everyone. This is um, the first um, installment of uh, Kerry's Gardening Show. I'm hoping to do this um, weekly or fortnightly, depending on the season. I'm starting today with um, rose care, okay? Um, how this works is that I will discuss any topics on Saturday mornings that people are interested in. Okay, so you can post questions or ask questions during the live videos and we will get around to answering them all, either in this week or in next week's show. Um, for this rose one, um, I specifically grew a rose um, to be able to prune it and to show you problems with roses and how to look after them and how to treat them, okay? So, um, what do you call it? I suppose, look, I'm just giving people a chance to get on there if, um, uh, and we kind of get started, okay? So this rose was grown in, in, a, in, in a greenhouse, so it is particularly um, leggy, poor, there's loads of uh, pests, there's um, loads of uh, green fly, white fly infestation. Uh, I'm going to show you where to prune it. Um, and now is the time of year for pruning roses, okay? So traditionally, roses should be pruned around St. Patrick's Day, okay? Uh, you can prune them also in the winter to prevent wind rock, okay? Um, but you should definitely have them pruned by now, okay? So, uh, when you're pruning a rose, okay, the first thing to do is to um, cut out any dead, damaged, or diseased um, branches or stems, okay? Um, this here would be an example of a bud, a flowering bud that I never, that was never um, cut back. These should always be cut back after flowering. Another one here, okay? So you should be continually doing this, okay? So cutting them off, all right? This is here, kind of an example of something like black spot or diseases in roses, okay? This is more damaged than uh, a black spot, all right? So if you see your leaves like this growing yellow and diseased looking, they should always be removed. They should, they should be burnt rather than putting any compost teeth or anything like that, okay? Um, but at the moment we'll be pruning off a lot of that. Um, but when you see that on roses, uh, you should always be t removing them, okay? This is another um, flowering stem that should be removed. When you're removing it, you should always cut it at an angle back to the next bud, okay? That's that guy, all right? Um, so I'm gonna start the pruning now and we look at the base of the rose to start pruning. Okay, so here, that label shouldn't be there. Um, what your object, the object of the exercise is to open out the rose to increase air circulation. This part here, that's gone all brown, this part here that's gone all brown, they should be cut out. So that's dead, damaged or diseased. They'd have to be cut out, okay? Um, of course, now I don't have a secretary, so I'll have to open a new one. So um, that's okay too. I might as well just show you a secretary, okay? When you're cutting back roses, okay, it's very important to have a proper good cutting tool. Um, this is a smaller one, maybe a smaller hand, and this is a slightly bigger one. Um, and they should be clean. Always clean them because you can pass a disease from one plant to another, okay? So I'm just going to use the slightly bigger one. And um, what's called a bigger pruning. Okay? So, nice little pruners there, $24.99. Very economic. Okay, it's easy to use. Okay, so this part here that's dead, we cut at a slant away from the plant. Okay, so um, if you cut it inwards here, all the water will be running off into this piece and make it what? So we have to cut this end up, okay, and remove it all. This one here, the same, no need to be keeping the label, you can plant in your garden, you can have a, keep a track of your labels. 
and again here put out the date okay now um okay before we prune the rest of the rose down i want to show you um that you should be spraying your roses at the moment every second week with a preventative okay so on this one we have the uh, pests so we will spray them now to show you but you should always be spraying for as a preventative for black spot um prevention is definitely better than cure and uh, if you spray it the rose every second week from here till the end of june you probably won't get black spot in the garden okay so this is just um ready to use one um okay so it's ready to ready to use there like so we have loads and loads of white um white fly uh, and green fly here we just spray the whole lot of the leaves underside and top side okay give it a good coating okay and you do the green spot and the black the, the, um, the green um the green fly the white fly when you see it but you should be spraying anyway as a preventative okay so that should be done regularly now we prune okay so um we just pick this this stem here okay there is a bud going this direction that is going into the plant there is a bud going this direction coming outwards so you want to encourage your rose to go outwards so we will trim this one back and we'll cut the stem here to encourage this to grow out this side okay this one here we have um, a bud growing outwards and a bud growing inwards so we'll choose the one going outwards and we'll cut downwards at a slope above the bud okay yeah this might look harsh pruning but the plant would need it again the very same here we have a bud here growing inwards this one here is growing more outwards or this one here is growing more outwards i will choose to cut this one here and i will just this one here then again this is growing outwards here so i will cut there okay and this stem here again i would like this one to grow outwards so i'll cut this one here and slant that way and i take off this growth as well okay now all we're left with here is this big stem at the moment i'm going to cut it to this step, to this bud here but you could cut it also to this outward facing bud we go this direction and outward facing bud again here and outward facing by this direction here so that's basically what you're left with okay now i'm going to carry it down here because i just want the plant to be lower to the ground um and encourage more growth underneath okay so that's that rose prunes you can at, the, at this year um, you you know every time here you cut off that leaf well. now the whole plant then should be sprayed with um just as a preventative for the pests and diseases okay now if you're planting a rose in the garden okay this point here is called the grafting point okay you never cover this part with soil okay it will encourage uh growth of the rootstock rather than the plant itself okay uh so that's the rose and the pruning okay then Rose Clear, Resolver, there's several products for the prevention of diseases there, some of them. Uh, rose Food, um, you should be feeding the plants again every second week between here and end of August, okay? Uh, and if you're planting roses in the garden or in pot, there's specific, um, specially blended rose compost uh, that you can use for that, okay? So now we have all the pruning. I'll just run through a few roses. Um, okay, trumpeter, a floribunda rose. Floribunda roses, smaller roses, lots of them. Okay, lovely new healthy plant. And then we have a hybrid tea rose. Hybrid tea rose is a larger rose, um, you know, on the top of the stem rather than lots of smaller ones. And this one here, Doris Tyserman, extremely fragrant. Okay. And here we have a climbing rose. Um, 
climbing roses, you know, if you're buying climbing rose, look for something that's well branched so it can spread out more. This one here is a David Austin. It is a David Austin rose. David Austin roses are repeat flowering, very fragrant, high disease resistance, a little bit more expensive, but well worth it, okay? Uh, this is another David Austin rose. Fabulous, big plant, you know. Again, fabulous double flower, uh, disease resistance and fragrant, okay? We've lots of different varieties. These ones, the last one then I'll show you is a flower crackle rose. Flower crackle roses, they do what they say, they form a carpet on the ground. Very easy to prune, there's no pruning to buds or anything like that, just half them back. Uh, free flowering, uh, loads and loads of flowers throughout the season. Um, great rose. Okay, so now we got a few questions in and I'm just going to answer the few questions that we got um, in during the week and um, I hope you find this has been interesting and maybe get involved. Right, so is it possible to propagate a rose from a bouquet of roses? Eh, not really, it's worth a try. Okay, you will grow something, but you won't get it specific to the rose that, um, that is in the bouquet. You could get any type of rose, okay? Um, can you recommend a rose suitable for a small garden? One that won't grow too big, okay? So one that won't grow too big is something like a flower bundus, okay? All right, there's also patio roses and flower bundus roses, smaller roses can be grown in a container or can be grown in, in the ground in a small, in smaller areas. This again is the flower carpet, okay? So those two would be suitable for that. Uh, what is the best environment for roses? Soil, light, etc. Okay, so uh, roses are not that fussy. They do like deep, well green soil. They like the sun. You can get them that uh, different roses that you will grow away in shade. But in particular, they do like a sunny spot and they um, deep well drained soil. But you, like you can provide the nutrients artificially really to make sure that they grow well, okay? The most important thing with roses is the care, okay? They're not that specific about where they grow. Okay, last question. Can you recommend low maintenance shrub for a new garden with a nice aroma? Okay, that's not rose related and that's absolutely fine. Um, there will be lots and lots of shrubs uh, in, in that uh, category, we'll say uh, lavender would be one that will come to mind straight away. And also like the herbs can be grown as um, rosemary and stuff like that, can be grown as, um, you know, um, aromatic shrubs, because they're, they're interesting as well, uh, as well as being herbs. Okay, this plant here, just for instance, it's not a shrub, but it's a fabulous fragrant uh, dianthus, they're just about to flower and um it's very fragrant all through the season okay uh, another one there uh again not a shrub but um nepita and uh, beautiful blue flowers all summer extremely fragrant uh, foliage throughout uh for the whole the whole season um fragrance skinny edge another plant i'll just get one there that is um extremely fragrant at the moment um, fabulous, absolutely, small shrub, very fragrant, very easy to grow, evergreen, okay, um, okay, so I hope uh, that was helpful to you lads and uh, happy gardening everybody.